जीनेटिक मार्कर एनी फिनोटिपिक डिफरेंस कंट्रोल्ड बाई जीन्स डेट कैन बी यूज फॉर स्टडिंग द रिकॉम्बिनेशन प्रोसेस और सिलेक्शन ऑफ अ मोर और लेस क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड टारगेट जीन्स इन अदर वर्ड्स एनी थिंग इन द जीनोम डेट इज वेरिएबल एंड कैन बी यूज टू कंपेयर द इंडिविजुअल्स मीन एनी थिंग और एनी सीक्वेंस डेट इज वेरिएबल इन द जीनोम and that can be used to study the variations between the individuals they are called as genetic markers so the detectable allelic variation on the chromosome can be phenotype or it can be unique dna sequence genetic markers they are of two types they can be in the form of morphological markers and they can be in the form of molecular markers molecular markers they are of two types they can be protein markers and they can be dna markers here is the example of morphological markers morphological markers can be phenotypic markers they can be naked eye markers here we can see the examples of the phenotypic and naked eye markers that we can differ differentiate between hold and naked seeds we can differ differentiate between a white and black if these are the phenotypes either on plants or on animals we will say that these are the morphological markers and morphological markers are due to the dna sequence the second type of the markers they can be molecular markers there are two types of the molecular markers they can be protein markers and they can be dna markers so what are molecular markers a readily detectable sequence of protein or dna that are closely linked to a gene locus and morphological or other characteristics of the plants or animals so they are called as molecular markers detectable sequence of protein or dna whose inheritance can be associated with the traits independently from the environment it means that there should be no effect of the environment on the phenotypic characters so molecular markers can be the polymorphisms and they can be the dna polymorphisms in case of dna markers there are different types of the dna markers they can be rflp they can be aflb rapd ssr and snp all these are different types of the dna markers now what are the protein markers protein markers can be in different forms they can be allo enzymes like isoenzyme of protein nature whose synthesis is usually controlled by codominant co alleles so these are the type of the enzymes which are called as isoenzymes and their synthesis is usually controlled by codominant alleles other types of the protein markers they can be isozymes a species of enzymes what are the isozymes a species of enzyme that exist in two or more structural forms so these type of the enzymes they exist in two or more structural types which can easily identified by their activities these are different types of the protein markers they can be in the form of gliadin they can be in the form of glutenin they can be in the form of gluten so if we conclude that what are genetic markers it will genetic markers they are any phenotypic difference controlled by the genes that can be used for studying the recombination processes or selection of more or less associated target genes so this these are called as genetic markers genetic markers can be of two types they can be morphological markers they can be molecular markers and again the molecular markers are of two types they can be the protein markers and they can be the dna markers